In some parts of the country, it looks as though farmers may be planting into some wet conditions. I'll address the issue in today's Iron Talk. When it's time to plant and soils are wet, you can only realistically wait so long. I'm not encouraging anyone to mud the crop in, but at some point, you'll probably end up planting even if conditions aren't perfect. With the size of planters growing dramatically, and with central fill units becoming much more prevalent, the four tires taking the brunt of that weight are driven into your soil, creating ruts that severely limit the yield of the rows on either side of them. We've used a two-row combine for harvesting our small replicated research plots. The results we've seen are similar to the data coming from universities and other researchers. Yield loss on those rows on either side of deep compaction can easily be 10 to 25% or more. On 200 bushel corn, that could be 50 bushels of loss. We've heard farmers talking about two solutions this winter. Number one, they could switch back to individual boxes for each row. This would spread the weight load out evenly across the planter. The second one that we've heard a lot about is to switch to tracks on the planter rather than wheels to spread the load out. Of course, using both solutions would be the best of all, but since most people don't want to give up their central fill units, well, you can see the dilemma. Think about this going into the spring, especially if you were out trying to fix compaction from your planter with a tillage pass last fall. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.